Here we go. Perlo therapy. Oh, lumbar spine. The, the, the Laura is the main hero. Yeah, this is what's going in. <laughs> Look at that. That's my hand. That's the size of the needle. That's orange. Eek, that's a big needle. So we're going to start. This is a this is the uh, small one inch, so we can lay it flat. So it's not going to hurt as much. Yeah, that's look. a big difference. What did you say? That's a big difference. I told you. Still, it burns, but not as much. That never can be pleasant. But it doesn't hurt as half as bad as it did before. I said, that's the only difference in the needle. Because so I can lay it flat and go under a very, very sharp angle. This is a 30 gauge 1 inch BND needle. It's one of the top needles, the most expensive ones. Oh, got a little squirt. <laughs> okay. I'm a twitcher. That's her. Because that's a very sensitive area. My ball yeah. back, I twitch. Well, you know, everybody twitch on this one. I don't know anybody who will be able to tolerate it without, without having this type of pain. Oh. I was wishing I had a separate camera just a short face. <laughs> that's uh that's another pleasant injection. But again, you know like the zero amount of shots, that's about 50, 60, 70 shots. And it's, uh, I would say that's a lot of shots. And it should be painful. Yeah, I would say that's a lot of so shots. So this is, uh, you're recapping the needle. Again, you shouldn't do that in general situation, but I'm very good at that. So that's the technique. I'm going to go, this is a four inch needle. All right, here's the big one. So you palpate the spinous process. And you go straight down. Sorry. Okay, it's for a jerk. Uh -huh. That's the first time I actually inject L2. Now we're going to inject L2 facet. She's going to my jump too. And this is L2 facet. You know, this is, and she won't jump here because this is not the first time I inject that level. You know, she's, you know, the needle goes about three, about three inches deep. I usually use four inch needle. See, that's a jump. So that facet was really painful. You know, they kind of do it. This one, it's all four. Facet, tip of a transverse process. This facet. You feel a lot of scarring from surgery? Yeah. I think you see a scar right there. It'll kind yeah, of ionize the... Uh, that's not surgery. They're going to do the secretive joint. And she got a lot of scarring there. Mix up the extras. 
which is go straight to sacroiliac just I'm very familiar with Forrest back because this is my number three injection so you know like uh, that's why I don't have to palpate uh, but uh, if I'm not familiar with you back then it's uh, you know I have to palpate every time Sometimes you have to press the tissue because you know, like uh, you know, you, people usually have more. One more. Okay. Here you also have to compress so you hear, you hear the sacral sec bone because sometimes it's not easy. You can do it either from L4, L5, this is L4, inject, okay, now we're going to inject, and then down here, so we're going to do intraspinous ligaments. You know, right now it's not hard, but once I go to the scar, might be a little more problematic because it's not, uh, not really going to be very easy to cut. Becoming closer, becoming to the scar. See now, it's become very difficult to inject. A few scar, a few. Let's. I have to put a lot of pressure because I'm going to get. I'm getting me exhausted. A lot of resistance to the scar. Got about right. one, one and a half, a little bit more than one and a half syringes left. So I'm going to need to reload one, one more syringe. So I'm going to hit L2. <coughs> yeah, L2 facet. This side is not going to be as tender because Laura is more mostly on the right. I'm used to when the patient is looking to this side, mm -hmm. to the left, because that's just the way I used to do it. So. Every time a patient lay like that, it's, it's, it's ease up my procedure. And it's make my job very easy. I have a man of a habit. But again, you know, she's a very good patient. You can see how steady she is. She doesn't move much. The lack of trying to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure she want to punch me. The thing is, uh, you know, but uh, she's not doing it because she like like me. Because I'm good looking. <laughs> she do it because... Uh, you know, this is uh, actually hurting her, and it provides her different decent relief. You know, so far, you know, like you can see, the scar of that horrendous surgery, and it didn't do her justice. It's just a failed back syndrome, so nothing else can be done to relieve her pain. So that's the last attempt to eliminate her pain, and that apparently it does work. So, you know, it, it's according to Laura, it does change her life. Yes, it does. So the thing is, at least it did with, when we did it her ankles and knees and neck. The low back is a little more stubborn again because she got the surgeon, she, unfortunately she let the surgeon touch her first. And uh, now she left with this type of stuff, which is, okay, now I'm out, so I'm gonna do reload this bridge. And, uh, yeah, we call what we started with. That's what just went into her back. Again, I'm not 
Oh, I can use a couple more. I need 6 cc of dextrose I mix it with 3 cc of 1% lidocaine I'm just going to water again I did clean the caps before so I didn't touch them so maybe that's why we clean I would not leave And I'll discard every single vial after I'm done. I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, it's quite an extensive process. Well, it takes a while. I mix my own medicine, so this is uh, takes some time. But again, I can. This is why I can make it affordable because I do my own medicine. I prepare my own medicine, and. Uh, it makes it dextrose because it is very thick. It's like a syrup. So now that's the back. Or is catching the break mm -hmm. because of me reloading. Usually I didn't know it was gonna be that much, so I need a thick I need eight syringes. I doubt the week of heart will make it this far in the video. Probably up to 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. There we go with the four inch needle. Yeah, it works very nice. This needle does not discriminate, cut nice and easy. And it's a sharp, fresh needle. So it will go through, it pierce through the flesh nice and easy. And sharper the needle, the easier it is because it doesn't leave, it doesn't hurt as much. So you want a sharp needle when versus dull needle this way. I do switch my needles in between. Laura doesn't have a lot of ligament tissue yet. This is why uh, I don't need to switch a lot of needles. You know, two needles is more than enough. But, uh, but once you can develop some ligaments, that will, that will change. This hip is not as bad, so I just one to see what we know. Yeah, it's always been my right side that's been worse. Okay, well, all right. Right. that's all four. I feel the all four. I press the tissue so I can hit the, hit the crest. Okay, now I hit the like, crest. Now I'm going to walk the knee like I the drone. And now I go in. And you can see the needle goes right into the four inches deep. That's how deep the lumbar ligament. Actually, that one feels not, not too bad, but on the right side is very degenerated. So most of our problem is the right side. Left side it looks pretty nice. But again, we'll have a pie because then it's done with the problem with the ligament. So whenever. I'm done.
So what they'll do is, you know, they're going to clean up. And, uh, and that concludes the prolotherapy.